What's up guys? Welcome to Musty Yeti's Tactical HQ. Today we're going to be covering the MOE K2 grip. Uh, this is going to be part 5 in the pistol build. I'll go ahead and annotate somewhere on screen here the previous four builds. The SIG SB15, the Spikes Tactical Upper and Lower, the Spikes Tactical Buffer Assembly Kit, and the Ice Arms Barrel. I feel like the pistol grip is something that a lot of people overlook when building an AR pistol. I visited AR15.com and went through all 85 of their picture only thread covering pistols obviously, I saw that most people rock the standard MOE or Myad grip. While that might work for them, I don't know if they've really put thought into what's the best grip angle for a shorter rifle like this pistol I'm building. When Magbull came up with this grip, they started from scratch. Uh, some of you guys might not be familiar with the original MOE K grip, but for those of you who don't remember it, here it is. As you can see, it has no texturing on the sides of the pistol grip, only the front and the rear. As you can see, the MOE K2 has some much needed texturing on the sides as well as the front and the back. Another difference between the two models is the beaver tail at the rear. The Magpul MOE K simply doesn't have one, whereas you can see the MOE K2 does. The overall size is different between the two as well. The MOE K grip is more akin to the AK grip, short and thinner. It would work best with people with small hands. Uh, Magpul chose to beef up the MOE K2 grip to help fill in larger handed folks like myself. One really nice feature is the MOE K2 doesn't rattle with the inserts like the Maya grip does. One thing that separates the MOE K from the MOE K2 grip is the groove located at the top here. When you shoulder a rifle with this grip, the steeper angle places your trigger finger above the trigger. If you want to fire, you can either just bring your finger down or you can rotate into that groove which brings your finger into better firing position. Now, most of you are probably familiar with the Umbrella Corporation's steep pistol grip. I chose to avoid that uh, for a couple of reasons. One is that grip has zero texture to help you get a good hold on it. I've heard numerous people complain how slippery it can get uh, when your hands are wet. Now some of you might say, what's the big deal, just stipple it? Well, I don't want to buy something to just have to go turn around and stipple it myself when I can buy something that already has texture on it already. Two is the Umbrella Corporation grip has no storage compartment in the bottom of the grip. Now that's not a huge deal, but again, if I can buy one that has a compartment, why wouldn't I? Uh, the nice thing about the MOE K2 is you can use any of Magpul's inserts as well. Lastly, and very small thing is, I think the Umbrella Corporation grip is a little bit longer than what I want. The real positive to the Umbrella Corporation, however, is the angle of the grip. I do believe it's the steepest on the market, which actually works great with SBRs and pistols. You know, who knows, the MOE K2 grip might not be steep enough for me, so I might have to end up going and picking up an Umbrella Corporation grip. Now, I'm not bashing anyone who owns an Umbrella Corporation grip. If you do, more power to you. I'm just addressing some concerns I have with it. I did find a really cool website that shows a side and profile shot of pretty much every pistol grip on the market. I'll go ahead and annotate that down in the bottom description. If you guys want to click on that, you can pretty much see, like I said, every grip ever made. You can see how thick it is, uh, depth-wise, this way, and uh, the angle of grip. So let's talk about why a steep grip angle is potentially a better choice for shorter rifles. For those of you who have a Maya grip, put your stock on position one, shoulder your weapon in a modern stance, and pay close attention to how your wrist is bending. Because the rifle is so close, it places some real stress on your wrist. A steeper grip angle makes shouldering a rifle more comfortable and natural. Plus it helps in keeping your elbow tucked in and avoid that chicken wing thing that people do. Now I cannot stress enough that if your Maya grip works for you, that's great. I don't need people getting all up in arms because they think I'm insulting their grip choices. This area is one of those things where everyone is different and you have to find out what works for you. Hell, I don't even know yet. This might not work for me. You have to go out there, buy different grips, test them out and see what fits you best. Just remember guys, I have the Maya and the MOE on three other ARs of mine. I'm a huge fan of them and they do work. It's just with this pistol, with a shorter length of pull, a steeper grip angle should realistically be a better choice. And one really small but nice feature that I wanted to make sure I shared with you guys is the screw they use to attach the MOE K2. Finally someone has scrapped that crappy flathead screw and Magpul has chosen to give us a screw with both a flathead and hex option. Well guys, that about wraps it up. As you can see, there was some serious thought that went into the design of this pistol grip. It's not just a scam where they're trying to get your money. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comment box below. As usual, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.